Hello, welcome back. Uh, so here we're just going to pick up right where we left off. We have already done parts A and B of this problem. Now we'll just move into part C. So for part A, we've calculated the probability uh, that a student completes the exam in less than 75 minutes. So we have that as 0.9345. That was this whole area here to the left of 0.151. Then for part B, we calculated what's the probability that a student fails to complete on time. So they complete in something more than 75 minutes. And that was this region out here. The next problem now is to identify what's the probability that a student completes the exam in 60 minutes, between 60 and 75 minutes. So if I look over here at our distribution of completion time, we already have here that 75 minutes, that was the value we used for the two preceding exercises, and 151 was the corresponding uh, Z value. What we need now is to also figure out what is the uh, Z value that corresponds with the value of 60 uh, for our completion time. And then we need to identify or calculate what is this area under the curve between, so greater than 60 minutes but less than 75 minutes. So if I come over here we need to figure out what is this Z value here and then we'll have to figure out how to calculate that area in between. So using the same formula as before X minus mu over sigma this is 60 minus 64 over 7.28 and where's my calculator go? Here we go. 60 minus 64 divided by 728. So this is 0 0.55, negative 0 0.55. Okay, so now we've got uh, our two z values. Now we just need to figure out the probabilities that correspond. Uh, to both of these. Now there's different ways that we could go about doing this. We already know the value of that green area. That green area, so let me just draw, here we have this green space, looks something like this. All right, we already have that this green space is equal to 0 0.9345 And what we want to do is really just chop off this space here. We want to subtract off this space, that probability uh, less than 60, because we're only interested in those who complete it in more than 60, but less than 75. So if we then subtract off that region there, that will give us the space in between. Uh, which is our value of interest. So that'll give us all of this region here. So if we look up in our tables, what's that probability that corresponds to negative 5, 5? Here, I think I've already got it marked on there. Yes, because this isn't my first take on this video. So here's from, uh, from our previous, let me just start over here. So here's our value of interest, negative 55. Uh, 0.55, so here's that negative 0.5, and there's that second decimal 5, so that gives us 0.55, and if I come down here, where these two join, that gives me my value of interest there, 0.2912, and so here, this area, 0.2912. So if I subtract that out of this, 0 0.9345 minus 0 0.2912 that will give us the area in between. So this is going to be 0.9345 minus 0 0.2912 0 0.6433 and there's our answer to part C 0 0.6433 Okay, good. So we've got all of our probabilities. Finishing uh, before class, uh, failing to finish before the end of class, and finally finishing the probability of finishing between 60 and 75 minutes. Okay, part D. If the class has 30 students, 
how many will fail to complete the exam before the end of class? Well, here we have that probability that any one student fails to complete before the end of class. So the answer to part, uh, part D is simply 0 0.0655 times 30 students. And this gives us 0 0.0655, the probability that any one student fails to finish on time, times 30 students, 1.965. So uh, 1.965 students, we can probably safely round that to about two students uh, will fail to complete the course on time. Okay, so that's it for this first problem on the normal probability distribution. I hope that that was helpful. Uh, we'll probably do a couple of more of these uh, as we progress. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.